when and how do you do sajda of forgetfulness and how do you uh, do sajda after Quran, Quranic verses? Quranic verses, if both of these preface, you should study the topic. So take the course that we have, Ascent to Felicity, and study the topic. There's a lot of details and nuances, such as what's a majlis, when can you do it, when should you do it, these sorts of things. But generally, um, if you recite a Quranic verse, then you do a sajda. You can do. You you just stand up and face the qibla with wudu. You say Allahu Akbar and you go into sujood, and then Subhan Rabbil A'la three times and stand back up. Or you can do it from a sitting position, Subhan Rabbil A'la, Allahu Akbar, then you know the sujood and then back up. Once for each <coughs> each verse. If you recited the verse in one place multiple times, you just do one. If you did it in multiple places or gatherings, or you did it. You recited it once and and then you got a phone call and you talk to someone for 10 minutes and you recite it again, you do two. So there are some of the new details that you're going to have to study. The subject of forgetfulness, <coughs> this is why you have to study because generally if you miss a wajib action of the prayer or you delay a wajib or you do a wajib before it's placed, you're going to do a sajda to sahu. So you need to know what a rukun of the prayer is, what fard of the prayer is, what a sunnah of the prayer is, and what a wajib of the prayer is, and what the adaba. And so study it, please, and that will help you a great deal. So like missing the fatiha, the entire fatiha uh, is wajib, reciting at the at the beginning, i.e. so you don't say قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ you do that and then the Fatiha there's an order so you say entire Fatiha at the beginning you don't delay its recitation these sorts of things so uh, they're all part of it La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah